Nice job. You didn't give up. You played hard. Your execution's not on and your shoulders hurt, right? Yeah, well, you finished third, right? Yeah. Well, how are you not going to be happy finishing third? I know what cost you. All right, I'll be right back. He got four balls out of that shot. If I make that ball... You went back a ball on that one there. Huh? You went back a ball. That hurt. I know. When I hit the ball, I hit it too Well, what I'm saying is that you couldn't, you couldn't hit, you, you couldn't lock him up back here so he couldn't see him when he hit the ball. Without, without trying to hit no, If I hit the ball the way I wanted to hit it. But yeah, well, if we always hit the ball the way we wanted to hit it, we're going to lose. And I play the press. But you didn't need to play the press, but you had him. You had him all the time. You had me on your side. I'm pulling for you. So I know. You're going to slam them out of there. With ice? I thought you were going to just slam them out of there.
Is this four zero zero still? Uh, Tang's got uh, two balls now. Oh, is Tang uh, executing a little stronger now? Well, Fox counted it with plenty of safety, and he sold out a cut shot. But uh, uh, Tang made a good shot. He had to shoot it left-handed right. and spin oh, the ball okay. in. So it wasn't easy, but he... Man, I am so bad left-handed. Practice. It's too ugly, and I'm tall. I mean, it's really ugly. <laughs> Well, you know, it, it's practice, and also, like a lot of people say, they can't play with the bridge. But you oh, got to practice. practice. No, I, I, I would play a whole game with the bridge just to get used to the bridge. Yeah. Okay? But left-handed, well, I then just You should play more left-handed. So left disgusting. That's a nice shot. You got a good amount of twirl there on the last second. Yeah, My nice. prediction is... Tang's going to play a little better now because he knows with Foch, he doesn't have an option not to. Foch just play. Yeah. If you don't play strong against Foch, he will just run over you. Well, excuse me. He will just run over me. Yeah, Foch needs to slide off the nine ball and go back up table. Get on the other side of the stack to protect the 15, 11. Uh, sorry, Jeffrey. I was out using the restroom. I will... Um, I'll tell if either one of them will just use the tray, then I can infer what the balance is. But I'll get on that. No, I didn't let him see, let him see too many balls there. But for now, the score. Um, let me double check this. Four, eight, seven, twelve. Uh, Fox scores three nothing. Ten. Yo, excuse me. Hey, will you use the tray for your balls, please? Just, you know, the red tray, if you'll use it for your balls, that way I can score. Bank in the nine, and it looks like he'll leave the cue ball treetop on the three ball. So if he hangs it. I think Fosh now has to bank on the 10, or the 13. Yeah, but he's, he's, uh, he's some, some of his bridging is gonna be hampered. No, he's fine on either one. I like the 13 more, uh, well, it, it, as long as he doesn't run into the four ball. Well, you know, the 10 ball would be good, too, because that you use the stack to protect whatever you get over there. What about banking the four ball? Oh, he's just going to change that up. I don't like that. Oh, he's banking the 12. Never mind. I do like that. Speed's not there, though. Oh, he got it past the point. Oh, man, that's strong. That's what I did. I'm not my ball. I guess he's going to bank the seven. So has to avoid the nine. Yeah, that was what I didn't like about that. Uh, just because he was going to run into the nine, I would have preferred to bank it off the stack, draw the cue ball up the side rail, and, and move some balls no, over to the side. I think he saw the opportunity to get both balls out of play there. Oh. I love, man, I, I have learned so much just sitting here with you. I'm not, I'm not just saying that. I mean, I'm serious. Like... See, you when make you, one good observation after another. See, when you do something like that, you clear up an area for, yeah. as a safe haven for down yeah, the line. Yeah. Well, I, I, personally, like if I'm playing somebody where I feel confident in my moving against them, I keep, oh, well, he's holding out the 15. Yeah, it's possible. I keep a for ball that. by my opponent's pocket because I can put the cue ball under it. 
But, so it's, you know, if you can get them out of there, that's the best thing to do. Because if you leave a ball up there and they make yeah. another ball toward, now they got two balls oh, up yeah. there. And then yeah. it's hard to defend. Wow, great speed control. Uh, the combo. Well, he's got I the mean, seven the, ball. Yeah. Yeah. The combo looks really tempting. Which combo? With, uh, eight eleven. No, no, that's that's too far off. Too much cut on the eight ball. Effort makes those look easy. But I mean, he's going to be able to play the cue ball underneath the uh, the nine ball. Yeah. I think. Yeah, if right. he can, if he can, get, if he can do this without hitting the one ball. Right. If you're going to play the right. eight eleven combo. If not, I think he should play the seven and come back for the thirteen. Oh, I see. God, it's so different on the table from the monitor. Wow. The glare makes the ball look like a different shape, and it made it look like they're almost straight in, but they're just not. Yeah, for, I mean, I, I know most of you guys know um, Tang. I, I mean, he used to finish in the uh, in the finals in, in big pro events, one pocket, nine ball. But his execution is what's really lacking right now, not not his knowledge. I liked that shot. That was a good try. Yeah. yeah. It was safe, too. I mean, he had the cue ball going in the right direction. But... Uh, you know? Uh oh. Someone's upset. Uh, that ball looks like it banks. You know, and it looks like that's what he's playing. Is the 11 ball. Oh. Foch executes too well to leave him these shots. He yeah. needed to drag. Foch can make a few here. Oh yeah, he should have dragged the ball up out of just respect for his shot making, right? <laughs> Don't you drag it out? <laughs> right. I mean, if I if I know somebody can run five balls, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna play with I'm gonna respect their offense and play conservative. This could be over. I mean, this game could be over. Well, does so, he play for the two or does he bank the nine or does he play uh, say for the eight? I like bank the nine, come up for the eight ball. Yeah. And then you're done. He only needs those two balls he can leave. You know what? If in a situation like this, where my opponent Drag needs a lot, I, 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 I cinch this ball. Absolutely. It's so important Make to get on dripping. seven. Yeah, get your hill ball, but leave it dripping in the pocket. But he got a good angle here. I mean, I think this he, is his he, game this ball. This is his game ball, but he, he'll also have the, the other balls blocking it. Okay, one nothing. It's tank's break now. Yep. So, let me see how we... second ball as full as possible right when like people who hit the, the cue ball kind of low inside they're like literally mass saying in to get as full a hit as possible on the second ball after they 
skim the, the first ball, right? Yeah. I, mean, you know, I won't do that. It, it looks too hard for me. It, it depends on the table, whether you, you, if you can get away with that or not. Usually when you hit it lower, then you take the cue ball further off the rail just right. a little bit more. So, because, you, it, like you say, it's going to turn in. Oh, yeah. And it, so but I just don't have enough control to know how much it's going to swerve in, you know. I, I mean, it, it looks like a pretty steep cut, and then on top of that for me, and I'm sure you guys all know this, but if you accidentally touch a ball, just a hair, and the cue ball comes right back at that group that you're jacked up over, it's a foul. So um, this isn't by any means, <laughs> I mean, I, I would give this, I would really think about whether I want to do this or not. But if you're a, oh, how do you feel about that? Leaving him on the wrong side. He didn't have much choice. Yeah. It, other, the only other choice he had was to mash that a little bit and, and hit the five ball. But okay. It, and if he doesn't hit the five ball full enough, or rather thin enough to move the cue ball over a little bit, he's giving a bank on the nine. Yeah. So sometimes you have to do what he did there. Hey, um, and sometimes you got to take a scratch. Frank, do you give lessons to people, and if so, how much do you charge for them? And I, I, I do give lessons, but you know what? I only give lessons to people that are really interested in getting better. And I mean, as far as beginners, yeah, anybody can teach. Too beginners. painful. Yeah. Too painful. Yeah, they Sorry. Can, they can learn from a book or a video. Yeah, yeah. But when it comes to strategy and, and patterns and so yeah. forth, yeah, I like doing that. What about mechanics? Uh, I mean, for, for like intermediate, like I'm a, I'm an intermediate player, I guess. Like, I, I've been trying to fix my mechanics. I, I, I turn my head after I shoot. Uh, I drop my elbow before I've followed through. You know, like, do you, do you critique people? Yeah, but you know what? When it comes down to something like that, one has to be videoed so, oh, yeah. so that they can see for themselves. Right, I agree. Wow. That's decent speed control yeah, there. The best shot here is the two-five combo. Because wow. uh, it takes you to the right side of the stack. Yeah. And, and really, you play to get on the other side of the stack more yeah. than anything. And, 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 you know, it's also safe because it's long that's distance what, and all. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Well, what about the six off the rail, then off the no, five, no, and then no, through that that's gap? That's iffy, and you, your cue ball's not going to a safe area if no, you play the what tiki. If, what if you go, well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, he got safe. Yeah, and that was the way to play it. He got relatively safe. Uh, Foch is going to be able to take these out and play the cue ball up into the 14. I think he's going to have to give up the five ball because he wants to... He wants to hit the five off no, the no, two. No, no, no. What if he plays two rails with the two ball and drags the cue ball up into the 14? Like that. Wow, that's a nice shot. I, get, I didn't know he had that angle. But you know what? When you're looking at it on a monitor that's and looking I'm at saying. it straight ahead, the monitor really gives you a better uh, angle. Yeah, for sure. But sometimes it's deceptive because you don't get to see the whole sphere. Right. So that that's why I like I, I misidentify the comp I mean plus I mean you like I said, you're really a knowledgeable and very I mean, my God, for your for your age, you are sharp, man. You're sharp as a tack. <laughs> you and and this this guy Willie who used to own uh, the last pool hall in Hollywood, uh, I watched Willie almost knock a cup over and grab it as it was dropping, and the guy's like 80 years old, and he's got wow. reflexes of, a, you know, of a 20-year-old. He took oh, a foul. I think he did by accident. Well, he called maybe. it on himself. I didn't see it, but yeah, uh, he. I think what he did was he touched the ball behind it. Okay. I mean, well, it's on video. You gotta. Your integrity is on the line when you're. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when something's gonna have ten thousand views, you know, people are gonna see everything. Oh no, Fox. No, that ball. Those balls don't go. Okay. 
Do you, think, do you still think that's a bad shot? I mean, he yeah, he can cut the six, but he's going to maybe have to, at best, come into the back of the five. Ball. Well, you know, you, it's your opponent that you have to gauge as to what their ability is. Okay, so Foch is his opponent. Do you like him kicking into the back of the five ball here? Is that is that accurate enough? Yeah, well, that probably would be the best shot. Oh, but crap. But Tang is such a dangerous man. He can do so many things that... Uh, and he knows yeah. that he has a problem. Oh, yeah. That's why he took that shot. Well, wait a minute. Tang's not playing like like Tang no, play, yeah. can play. You yeah. know, but I mean, it could happen at any moment. Right. That he yeah. could just start running and, and out. What yeah. better way of getting into it if you make a shot yeah. like that? If you make a yeah. shot like that. That turns everything around. You you start feeling better about your game. Right. Is this really a race to three? This is a race to three. A race to three. Is it? I'm asking. Foch has one. It, but is it, though? It is a race okay. to three. Barely fits. That's what I was going to say. That's a hard shot. That was a hard shot, you know. He literally had the width of the ball. I think he had to shoot it into the pocket facing to be able to make the ball. It's tight, right? You had, you had the width of the pocket to make it? Yeah. Yeah, he just said, he just confirmed that. Okay, so basically he can, he can bank the one and maybe draw into the edge of the four and keep it safe. I mean, that's what I would try and do. Well, if time makes this ball, he got a few of them he can make. Wow. But I mean, if you're not making everything you shoot at, do you play like wide open offense? Tang I plays think. great. Look, I, I by the way, everybody, I love how Tang plays when he's playing strong, but he. I know he doesn't think he's playing good right now, and he's not playing good. He's missing what he would call easy shots. I wouldn't be playing wide open offense right now. Especially not against Foch, because Foch almost never is, is weak, you know. I mean, I see see easy five balls to run here if the eight ball goes yeah, and he if he come over if he bumps it one. oh i was saying he come up and just bump that ball but yeah that's nice and i straight in but he could bank the one well he can also come out he could two he rails could for, the, for the two yeah. ball or the 12 ball or the 13 ball the 13 is what i like he's so flat i think he's got it i don't think he can do anything more than the 13 ball a look at that on the monitor and the 13 ball I mean you really have to get perfect position so personally I'm going to cinch this on ball, the two ball going forward. and I, I would I would cinch this ball and I would bank the five you know the five is not all that good because no it's near the rail well yeah but because the way the six and seven are there mm -hmm. it, you, you have to have it so perfect and I don't think you can because there's, you, you, it, the perfect that you want to get is going to put you in the kiss position. So you need to handle it and get the cue ball out of the way. What? Yeah. When he, if he stops his ball and draws back like in the inch or two, you're saying he, you're saying he can't bank it from there? It but can be banged, but it's but he's going to hit it with inside. Because you're yeah. out. Oh, wow. He, He's selling out to a guy who's not running balls. Mm -hmm. like, but it only takes one shot. To pump Tang you to up, get, and then yeah. next thing you know, you're making everything. Yeah. See, he's not going to play this. I'm almost certain he won't oh, play it. Oh, but I mean... Yeah, well, if you have big, bigger pockets, yeah, you play this. He needs three balls, and I think he feels like he, he wants to run out right now. But, no, I mean, That's he's, he's reevaluating, so you're probably right. You're, excuse me, you're, you're like always right. <laughs> but, but you see he, the angle he, that he would but he's But he's got blinders on. He he's he, all he's looking at is the five ball. 
right? What else? See, I would be in, right now. What I would do, nothing crazy, but I would try to lock up the two and the six, the five and the six, so that neither right. one of them goes. And now I, he's I looking move. around at other opportunities. Yes, I hear you. you tie balls up. Lock, lock them up. Get right balls now. up table, you know. But but he's going on. He's going on no, for it. I don't think it. so. He's playing safe. He's not. He's playing to make it. He was still playing to make it. He just didn't play to make it the way we originally looked at it. He was doing something with that. Fight. Yeah, but it wasn't necessary. I didn't, oh, I don't. I I'm think, not disagreeing with you. I just saw that he. He really was snow blind to See, anything else. The danger was there were so many balls out in the open yeah. for, the, for the grabbing that and, you couldn't afford anything. And a beginner pool player can make them, let alone Tang. I mean, I get it. They're all right near his pocket. They're ducks. So I, I, I smell what you're stepping in. I'm just saying, you know, uh, Foch, I think he really wanted to just run out there. What what is Tang doing? Is he double banking? No, he's is cutting, he fanning he's cutting, it? No, he's cutting it. Oh, yeah. he's hitting the paint. He's just deciding yeah. he's going all out. It, 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 it. Oh my God! Well, at least he hit a rail. <laughs> <laughs> You're great. <laughs> okay, so uh, what's he do now? He's cutting. He's cutting the thirteen. Yeah, that's right. Cut the 13, do you draw and try and uh, run to the 6 no, to get see, on the 5, the 13, or you just run You can out. bring the cue ball to the long wheel on the other side of the 11 ball, mm -hmm. and it's safe. Mm. How about that? Oh, don't scratch. That's All probably, right, that was so what's, a shot. what's he got here? 3, 6, 9, 10, so he's got 5 balls. You know, Jeffrey, you make a you make a great observation, but I love philosophy, and I'm going to tell you, anybody who believes in something that has no evidence in support of it is lying to themselves. Okay, so you can believe you fly, it doesn't make it true. People, you know, I believe in myself when I have a recent track record of executing exactly what I intended to execute and once once I have satisfied producing the results that I set out to produce then I do believe in myself and when I'm getting results that are wildly varying from my intention I have no reason to believe in myself that would be a delusion so uh, and I think we all, especially all of us who play for money, um, we're all good about evaluating what the truth is about how well we're playing right then. And we try and pick shots that are in accordance with our ability at that moment because nobody plays the same from moment to moment, hour to hour, day to day, month to month. Right? Right? I mean, True, you, yeah, you don't. Yeah, yeah. Nobody, no, nobody does. Efren doesn't. Earl doesn't. It doesn't matter who you are. You know, sometimes, like, I mean, some humidities are tougher for me than others, especially high humidity. If I didn't get good sleep, I don't play well. If I'm intimidated by my opponent, I don't play well. You know, I gotta, I gotta evaluate all those things. A player has to practice enough to believe in themselves. Yeah, that's true. They need to do that. But believing in something without evidence to support it, that's what kids do. Did you play sports before you got into playing pool? I played baseball. Yeah, yeah. I bet a lot of pool players played baseball before they got into pool because that's one of those games that requires great hand-eye coordination and pool requires great hand-eye coordination. Yeah. 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 
played him the other day, and his execution was great for him, you know. Don't you think? Yeah, yeah. I'm happy for him. score. Uh, Tang's looking at playing the six, maybe off the back of the five and wiggling a ball in towards his hole. It, it's not that he thinks it's going to go. It could. Oh, God. He really just, this is, he's maintaining his composure. That's what I can say because he's, you know, all of us pool players are we all are in pain when we don't play well, right? Right, yeah. See, Fosh here, Fosh has nothing but the play off the salad. Yeah. Definitely doesn't want to rearrange those two tied up balls. And uh, you just hope the table rolls level. I think Tang is familiar with this position. Uh, if I, like, if Tang could get the cue ball on the end rail, but he has to, cl you know, he's got some work to do before he can get there. He's got to remove balls from Foch's side, but when you need all the balls, you definitely don't want to leave the cue ball on the end rail because then your opponent starts moving them all up table. Oops, ball on the spot. Man, this is... Uh, that's a, uh, that's two or three bad. balls here. Um, the one on the spot, the 13 I, I and feel, I, it, But this is not... Yeah, all right, I like this. He's going to get this and the 13, but I mean, he could get straight in on the 13. He doesn't have to get... It don't matter how he gets on the 13 because right. he got the 7 no, as I understand. Bank. He's going to... I feel like he's going to make... 13, but I don't I don't think it's a guarantee that he'll get more than that, but it looks like, like he's going to get that ball nine. on the rail. He'll get on the 9 here. The 9? Okay, don't scratch to the side. That's game. Well, that's game 2 okay. for Fox. Truman, the uh, Foch, you know, the uh, first tournament that he played in, and this is years ago, because I worked with him a lot, you know, and he got into this tournament, and he's playing he's playing good, and he's got this match. He's got ball in hand, seven, eight, nine, playing nine ball, and uh, he puts the cue ball down for a combination on the nine, and they're like two feet away from each other, and, and they're off angle, they're not even straight, you know? Oh my God. <laughs> he looked at me and I got my head on my forehead. Like, exactly. <laughs> he knew that was wrong then. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, he and I still you know, laugh about that. I, I, well, I mean, I remember the first time I ever played somebody for money. It's this guy. Some of you may even know him. His name's Greg Christensen. Uh, reddish hair. Uh, South Orange County. And um, I mean... I would see how meticulous he would get with where he would position the cue ball when he had ball in hand. And uh, and I just knew at that moment, I was like, well, I just have no idea where I should even want to put the cue ball, you know? <laughs> Sometimes it's better when you don't have a lot he of goes. options. <laughs> he's, got, he's got a strong position here. Yeah, that'll, that'll help. He's, you know, I think... I think, uh, first of all, Foch is good at the little tickies and soft strokes. I mean, he really has a well-rounded game. Um, but I think he has the angle to where he could, if, if necessary and if he desired, that he could uh, kick the three or do something with the three ball. 
I don't know why he's I looking at the he table. He can't see the three, can he? No. That, no. Uh, I know he can come off the edge of the 15 and go between the 13 and 6. That's right? Really he can tricky. hit it. You know, that's rip. Sure, that, it is, that but, might, but, may but not be hold worth on. It. If he hits the bottom of the 6, he's fine. As long as he doesn't hit the 13, you know what I'm saying? If he hits the bottom of the 6. Yeah, well, he must be able to hit the 3 ball. Well, I, that's what I thought. He could even ticky it. Oh, what I call. Yeah, you call it right. <laughs> Good shot. I got one right. Good shot. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> Whoops, went too far. Let me see the 14. I didn't see the shot, but I think he should play the 14 into the five ball. Yeah, exactly. With a little speed to open everything up to do his you, side. Do you play the billiard into the 11, or do you run no, the no, cue no. ball upstairs I, I with just, inside? I, I just stun the ball to the uh, to the rail to going the forward. Rail. Yeah. No, no, no. Leave the leave the cue ball on that end of the table to use the majority of the balls to protect whatever you get open up to your side. Well, but look at the angle. If he if he shoots straight at it to go forward, he will he won't be able to touch anything but maybe well, the see, eight he ball. Can bank it to, he, can, he can bank it to the seven then. Main thing so is to hold the cue ball, the ball up table. So just like that. That, that, well, that. That's what I asked you. Does he billiard into the 11? Well, not if you couldn't, didn't have to. I don't think you right, had to. Right. <laughs> I thought he had it straight enough where he could have held the cue ball there. Yeah, I mean, I, you got. We're sit, we sit level with the table. So it's really hard for us to know what's going on with the table. And then we've got not a full screen view of the table from the monitor. Uh, oh, that's going to be painful. Uh, that'll cost him a couple of balls. Well, no, I mean, that's it's probably going to... I mean, I'm not saying Fox is going to run eight here, but I could easily see him running five or six. Well, and, and sewing it, it up the match. It almost looks to me like he has to cut the two ball next. Oh. Well, that was nice. Yeah. Shoot the three if he's got it. So, four ball, two ball. After the two ball, come back for the six. From the six, he could possibly get on the three. No, he can shoot the three now if he's got it. But then he's going to push the nine over no. before he's gotten his maximum. I say four, two, six, three, and then reassess. Well, that takes ah. care of that. Oh, you just got to lag the two in, if you can even do that. He can lag the two in and then take out the three and 13. No, I know, but I mean, like, if, I, if you accidentally put a quarter tip of of side spin on this or touch the, the ball the 12 ball that he's jacked up over I mean it's a he could commit a foul he could miss the ball this is just like so uh, triple he's gonna, tough he's going to take out the 3 and 13 next oh he's coming upstairs well, excuse me wow he got a little robbed there <laughs> that's a you know that's a tough tough shot for me Jack up and blast it in, but what he what he did there, he didn't want to put any side spin on right, it. Right, yeah, he didn't because, want to jeopardize missing the right. ball. Right, but here's one thing to consider. I mean, this is the finals of a, yeah, sure, it's a tiny tournament, but there's prestige to it because you know you got to play people that play good. Everybody who's good in L.A. comes to this. But here's the thing. If you jack up and you hit a ball in with speed, you actually, if you're hitting it with speed, you can use side spin because it's going to be airborne most of the time, so it's not going to have any opportunity to curve. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, so there, I mean, you know, you got to calculate the deflection, right? Yeah. The, the, the cue ball's deflection off of the cue. 
Uh, and, and what you're talking about, you know, that's the system that you use on the clock when you want to move the cue ball in, in, like a straight in shot and you want to move the cue ball left or right. Uh -huh. Then you, you elevate it maybe about a 30 degree and then put your left or right on it. And if you want it, the ball to go like to 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock or 3 o'clock, that's what you're doing is you're you're making the ball airborne with a lot of spin. So when it right. comes down, it whichever ass. way the axis is, is uh, shifting on that ball, that's the way the cue ball is going to go. Yeah, that and makes sense. Now, guys, uh, I, and I understand most of you are going to be, you know, die hard one pocket aficionados but tomorrow um first sunday of the month prestigious event you come down here you get to play great players you get to play pool all day practice it's double elimination you get a handicap from pros and uh warm up i think starts at 12 o'clock and the tournament is scheduled oh look at that the tournament's wow. scheduled to start. Nice shot, buddy. That's, that's called creativity. So again, first Sunday of the month, nine ball tournament, handicap from pros. Uh, free warm up starts at 12 p.m. The tournament starts at 1 p.m. And I mean, come on. You get, even if you you don't think you can win, I mean, it doesn't matter. You get to play phenomenal players on the cheap. And you probably, you know, you probably have maybe a little bit of fun. Afterwards, you get to watch great players uh, battle it out for, for the finals. It's really an awesome experience. And there's nowhere else where you're going to see a local tournament that has... I mean, basically, the prestige of winning a pro tournament, practically. I mean, not literally, but just get down here. It's phenomenal. Hard shot. What are you gonna do? He put all of his. Well, there was a lot of things he could have done to to play that. He could have won, come back for shape on the six ball, and forget about the three exactly, ball. Exactly, exactly. But when when you're worried about missing a combo. Well, but I think he also could have played the combo delicately and kept the three ball in front of him. Yeah. Uh, it, it, Boy, I, I I totally agree with you, but. I also can't imagine that he's feeling super confident right now. And so I'd imagine his focus is distributed across, oh my God, don't miss this ball. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got a freebie on this yeah, well, not ball freebie because if he sticks no, the ball, he the 15, gives a cut shot on the 15 oh, there. God, he he gives up the shot yeah. on the 15. Oh my gosh, he's oh got one on the spot. That really helps Fonch. Slow roll this when you get on the other side. Well, the, slow roll the 15 in, right? Yeah. I mean, slow roll the 15 and he's either going to get a shot on the 5 or the 6. Actually, I like the one this ball is done. The one ball's free. No, this, this, this set's over. Well, you know, Foch and I drive down together, so whoever goes the furthest in the tournament usually buys dinner. <laughs> This is free. I think he'll hit that nine ball if he just rolls it. I mean, all he has to do is make this ball. I think he's on the hill. I apologize if I'm wrong. Oh, no, I'm wrong. Yeah. Well, he's going to put his balls in the tray now, and I'm sorry if I'm wrong, but... Well, he's got three. Oh, he's got five. Five? Okay. So if he has five, that means Tang has four. I'm really sorry, I suck at the score thing. 
This has a good chance, but it's left Duke. If he makes this, he may as well play the rest of the turn over with his left hand. Well, I don't know if I just got the nine ball off the six. Or if he can go real first I to make know, the eight. But I think it's a really tight squeeze to get the nine ball goes off the six and goes straight in. That that's unbelievable, but I've had that happen to me so many times. He shot a two full. But you know what? But you know what? <laughs> Dan's gotta execute here. I I know this is a road map, but Tang has to execute here. And Tang doesn't believe in himself right now. You know, he's missing everything. That's probably the best offensive shot that Tang has made in two hours, okay? So that gives Tang five. He might feel a little confident. He's close to his work, okay? I could see him getting seven here and, and lobbing a bank up to get on the scoreboard. Too soft. Two more. Probably play it back on the eight ball. Uh, if he makes this ball, yeah. But this is a missable ball for him because he's putting a whole bunch of spin on it. Oh, he missed it. No, he didn't. Oh, he did. Wow. This, honestly, this. I know Tang has like a real, like, I. I actually got lucky and I, I, uh, I squeaked out a, a, a victory over Tang in a crappy little nine ball thing. And I, I mean, I feel guilty <laughs> beating somebody who should beat me easily. And he goes, no oh, man, I'm, I'm not playing well and I just come down here to have fun. It's not a big deal to me. So um, I, I think, you know, I don't think he's taking it very seriously. Too much good. speed. Too much speed. But it was near the rail. It was near the rail. But yeah, but you still put it too much speed. Yeah, too hard. And it was near the rail. You shot it full. Fonch is pretty disappointed in himself. He thought he should have made that in off. And I agree. But, I mean, even when those are dead, I, I've had weird things happen. And, and the ball that he was playing it off of was, you know, a couple, well, not the, I, I'm guessing it was under an inch from the rail. And when they're that close to the rail, you can get a quick double kiss on it, etc. Hope you guys are enjoying this finals. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised for him to play the one railer on the eleven. Absolutely. It's the best shot. And, and draw the cue ball with outside. Get the cue ball onto the side rail. Yeah. And make sure you don't touch the three. Uh, he should have a shot on the three if he does that. Uh, he didn't go he? for it. Why would it? Well, he's not feeling confident, but also I know he doesn't want to accidentally clip the three and let Foch close out the tournament. Uh, I, that would have been a slim chance for that to happen. So he's just trying to put him on the nine, make sure he doesn't sell out a bank. Yeah, he on just wants to make sure the three ball is in position yep. to kiss the, uh, take that bank on the 11 away. But you know, if, if Tang were feeling confident, he'd bank that 11, draw uh, back, try and get straight no, in on the three ball. No, there's the, you you fight this hard to stay in the game and then you give it away on a, on a shot like that. No, 
And you're saying that he couldn't get to the other side of the table, though? Look, look at all the speed you got to put on. You don't know what the 11's going to do after if you miss it. I never know what the eleven's going to do after I miss it. <laughs> well, that's why, that's why you shouldn't that's take that shot. That's why I've been out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but what about the eight ball? It. He's going for it. Either one sells out the three. Yeah, but the eight ball, you could lag him up to the end rail. No, you still go up to three. He needs to play the safe with the three. He's taking over there by where the eight ball's at. On top of everything else that Foch deals with, with his medical conditions, I know he's on antibiotics for, uh, for something that's wrong with his teeth, I guess, which makes him a little tired, so. Uh, and when I'm tired, um, all my execution's a little off. I just don't have the mental energy to do... Oh, boy. I think that could be a problem, Houston. Well, for those of you who want to get to sleep soon, I think you're about to get your wish. That's in. I got a feeling there's a concession coming up right here. No concession required. Oh, he must need one more. Oh my God. He's all right. Believe that ball got to the side rail. Yeah, he's fine. Just roll this one in and if you don't make it, it should be right in front of the hole. Oh yeah. But the cue ball's going at the side pocket. No. A little bit. No, not even close. Not if you undercut it. That's where you want it if you miss oh, it. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. I think set one is over for Daniel. and uh, They look like... I don't know who won the first game of set two, but they're in set two kick here I like, right? Kick it, you might make it or something. Something could happen. He's uh, kick banking. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Sort of That's out. over. He's going to be pretty disgusted. He might put a hand out. Unless... Bam. That's it. Well, it looks like I get a dinner. Ruth's Chris, is it? <laughs> Says you're taking him to Roots Chris. Says you're taking him to Roots Chris. Ah, it's just a little dinner spot. Dinner, uh, winter buys dinner. I wish I was riding with you guys instead of driving. I know that. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching POV Pool. Uh, sponsored by Kamui and. Who else we got on here? Marty Jump Cues. Uh, you know the usual suspects. I, I'm not. Just give me my entry. I'm not real, real hip on what all what all their sponsors are, but I mean, this is, you know, who else is doing video journalism of pool on such a consistent basis and just putting it out there for free? So. I, I personally am also always supremely grateful for this. Uh, I hope the commentary was not too annoying. I, I know I'm not the most knowledgeable. He's got some electrical He's trying to set up his garage. The first thing he wants to do is set up And uh, I think actually uh, Foch might have won this two months in a row now, which is amazing. I mean... Short races, talk about stressful. Anyway, thank you everybody for staying tuned in and uh, have a happy and safe Halloween.